So let's talk about Gearbox winning the Duke Nukem rights. Uh, a game that I liked on the PC had no love or interest in the modern version, um, but apparently there was a bit of a issue with yeah. the rights. So, so we we know the story. Three Realms had Duke Nukem Forever, forever, and so <laughs> they didn't know what to do with it. Uh, Gearbox came in and swooped in and saved the day. Basically, picked up what well, was probably like a glorified beta version at the time and tried to like a sp- 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 spiffy up the graphics, spruce it up. Um, and then slap a coat of paint on it, and it still looked kind of dated for 2011. Oh, like the truck driving levels? Yeah. I mean, ridiculous. It was like five, six years old by that point, but people, they just wanted to get it out. But part of the deal was with 3D Realms is that Gearbox, in finishing up the game, purchased the rights to Duke Nukem going forward to make games. So apparently there was a little mix-up, though, when 3D Realms was bought out by developer uh, Interceptor Entertainment. So they thought by buying... Uh, 3D Realms that they could make Duke Nukem games. So they started uh, developing a which sounded fairly interesting. It was like a RPG uh, action game I guess like overhead game and it was going to be called Duke Nukem Mass Destruction. Um, so they're, they're, they're under the impression that they had the possession, they were possessor of the, the Duke Nukem uh, copyright and the character trademark. Whoops, they weren't. Oops. It was Gearbox. Um, so what happened was they announced the game and Gearbox is like, oh, no, 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 it's our IP, it's ours, not yours. So they went to court, this has been going on for a while now, but it was actually settled. And Gearbox, which rightfully, they had the rights going back for probably five years from now, by now, um, they win the rights to it. So so this game that's coming out, Duke Nukem Mass Destruction, I think they're changing the character to someone else. And basically, the game the game will still be able to come out, but not Duke Nukem. They'll just swap out the main character or whatever else. Well, if it's a good idea, I mean, hopefully it would still be able to yeah, sit on they, its own. And they came out, everyone's like, oh, well, it, this was a good decision. You know, all the companies are doing PR bullshit. But uh, what are the odds you think that Gearbox is going to come out with another Duke Nukem game, though? That's well, what I want to ask. Not that the, the last one didn't sell badly. It got bad reviews or mediocre reviews, but didn't sell badly. It also immediately plummeted in price. I mean, that game hit the 99-cent pile quicker than almost anything that I can remember. Um, I don't know. I think it's funny because I think this is like fighting over a chicken wing that has no meat left on the bones. Uh, you know, people got pissed at me for, for, for knocking Duke Nukem because I thought the most recent one was a little bit over the top and maybe a little mean spirited in how it, it handled itself. But even if it was fine, it's a relic of the nineties. Um, I don't know how you can turn Duke Nukem back into a popular character. People remember him fondly for spouting out lines, lines that were not his. Was sure. the game good? Yeah. The, 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 the original, the, the original game was fantastic. Um, and sure, if you make a great game again, which any good development company can, you can make Duke Nukem relevant again, but I think there's too much of a tarnish on that name, and it's too much of a relic on the past for them to really risk a whole lot of money on development. Well, maybe if there's any... I mean, it's, business doesn't really have pride at stake, but, you know, speaking of relics of the past, you have a Doom sticker uh, on, on your laptop, but they're making a new Doom game, which looks pretty cool. Yeah, but Doom's never not been popular. The what, Doom Three came out. That would that, that was kind of okay. You, know. you can. I'm sorry. You're not comparing Doom to Duke Nukem 3D. Mm. After Doom Two, this. I mean, what Doom Three? Did that set the world on fire? Not really. Let's be honest. People I played like it, it and I was like, eh, yeah, but it also is... didn't get. It, it also wasn't in a shit heap like Duke Nukem. Sure. Was in moments. All I'm saying is that maybe Gearbox wants it because that last game wasn't really theirs. It wasn't. Uh, the, any game they put out going forward is going to be theirs from the start. And they can then put their own ideas in it and, and work on it. And maybe they can come up with something And nice. they've shown they can do first-person shooters. I mean, yeah. the Borderlands games have been fantastic. And those are all Gearbox. Maybe they do a new game that isn't a straight first-person shooter. Maybe they put in elements. I just want to know. point out that I mentioned a modern game was fantastic. Anyways. But maybe they maybe they do something surprising. I'd say look, give them a chance. Give them a chance. There's, I, it's an iconic... It's one of the most iconic game characters, at least on the PC... Still, I, you might think it's tarnished, but people say Duke Nukem. Let's put it this way: if they announced that, if they come out with an announced trailer, that thing would get you know ten million views in a day for an announced trailer for Duke Nukem. If it actually looked like it stood a chance of being as good and amusing as Duke 3D, yeah, I'd I'd probably try playing it. I just don't know that I have faith in that character being revived. I think I think any character, as long as you write it smartly enough, you could do it. 
You know what would get me to buy the if it included the Apogee side scrollers. Those were a lot of fun. Why can't they do that when they change the spelling for the, because of Captain Planet and they change it back? Oh yeah, Nukem Duke, with Nukem. the U. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they they, got, yeah. Then it wasn't tra- it wasn't uh, uh, trademarked. All right, we'll see what happens. I I think they're gonna. I, this way I look at it. If Gearbox wasn't gonna do something with this IP, I don't think they'd be as litigious. They'd be like, oh, we'll just just buy the license from us, come out with the game. But they said we want this all under one umbrella, so maybe they do have plans for. Good old Duke. 